Is this thing on? What I'm looking like, what I'm looking like, what I'm looking like. Happy Thursday. It is Thursday, October, October, October. <laughs> I've been outside, so y'all already know what that means. Cup, it's, I'm trying to show y'all the, it's October, oh my God. Ugh, here we go. It's October 3rd, 10:13 p.m. I'm just literally just walked in the door and I immediately picked up my camera because I did not pick up my camera when I was on my way out of the house. Anyway, it's Thursday, October the 3rd. Welcome to a new vlog. I just got home. Um I was out, I was out doing art things and all of that type of stuff. I was actually out with the group early work that I'm always going to like the different art events with. They're actually having a um, Chicago, like mini Chicago Expo weekend. Expo weekend is like a big art weekend here in Chicago, but they're having a smaller version of that. Um, hold on, I'm sorry, I got distracted per the usual. I'm um, sorry, they're having a smaller version of that. It's called Chicago Ex Exhibition Weekend. So essentially what it is, is like 45 galleries around the city um, are having like showings this weekend, like pop-ups, like cocktail parties, all that type of stuff. So you can like bounce around different galleries this weekend to see the exhibitions that are currently on display, all of that. So today was sort of like the kickoff day. So. Um, after work, I went to a kickoff party at a gallery. Um, the gallery is called, let me tell you the name of it. The gallery is called, this is my first time there. It's actually really beautiful. And from what I hear, they have one of the best galleries. This same owner has one of the best galleries in Paris. So when I get back to Paris, I have to go to a gallery. And then she has like a really dope gallery in uh, Mexico City. And I'm going to Mexico City next year for my birthday. And so... I'm gonna visit the one in um, Mexico City, but her name is, or the gallery name is Miriam uh, Ibrahim, Ibrahim, I-B-R-A-H-I-M. So anyway, so I went to a like kickoff opening cocktail party there. I had like a glass of rosé and then a glass of champagne. And then that was from five to seven. So I probably got there at like 5.30 because I left here at five o'clock as soon as I got off work. And then um, after that, the second like kickoff party didn't start until nine o'clock. So I actually went to grab something to eat. I went to this place called uh, Bracero um, that wasn't far from there. Um, someone that was at the place recommended to me because I was like, I'm hungry. I still have like a couple hours before the next event starts and I need to grab me something to eat. So they recommended to me 10 out of 10. It was so good. So of course I had a dirty martini, extra dirty, extra vermouth. So that means a little bit of gin, not too strong. Um, and then after I had my martini or I had my martini and while I sipped on that, I ended up ordering like this chicken dish. I'll put the name of it on the screen because I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was phenomenal. It was so good. I had to keep myself from like, like I was using the fork to eat the chicken. I had to keep myself from picking the chicken up and just biting the chicken. It was so good. And then I had a side of like this pork fried rice. Girl, that pork fried rice was so freaking good. And then I ended up getting a dessert. I don't know the name of it either. It's like a, this chocolate pudding with like pretzels in it. It was phenomenal. So my meal was like 10 out of 10. So I got done with that right at like 9 o'clock. Hopped in an Uber. Went to the next event. And the next event... um was at a place called Arabella Bar. And basically it was just like a kickoff party. So it was a different few, it was a few different DJs that were gonna have sets, you know, cocktails, all that type of stuff. They had like a a um like a mezcal cocktail they were passing out. I don't like mezcal, so I babysat mine. But I ended up leaving because I got tired and I'm a little bit tipsy and I was so thirsty and I just wanted to come home and chug some water. Speaking of, let me go get me a water real quick. So that was basically my Thursday evening. I should have inserted some clips while I was talking so you can sort of get an idea of what was going on. That fucking alcohol, bro. 
Oh, anyway, this is what I wore. I wore my America is an idea t-shirt conversation starter. I told y'all, like, you want to get a conversation going? Wear something interesting, like a t-shirt with a saying on it. Like, I, so many people stop me at the restaurant, at the at the first gallery, at the um, like after party that I went to. Like, people were just were stopping me, asking me about the shirt. Again, it is the uh, again, it's designers for democracy with um, they it was fourteen designers. They worked with. Kamala Harris's campaign to design t-shirts for people to buy to donate to Kamala's campaign. This one was designed by Aurora James of Brother Valley's. America is an idea. This is like sort of a theme for her. For her, I have another t-shirt and I think I explained this in the last one. I have another t-shirt that she did with the moment that says um, American as me with the same font. Essentially the idea is, you know, we all especially as black america black americans have a stake in this country this is just as much our country as it is anybody else's and we have just as much say in the idea of what this country could be right and we have that say through our votes it's important that we get out and exercise um our right and our civic duty to do that right if we want you know our ideas to to uh or I, our idea of what america and democracy and all of that stuff can be for us america is an idea anyway definitely a conversation starter and then on the bottom i just have on um girl these acme studio jeans again y'all know when i get something i wears it out <laughs> i wears it out hold on y'all cricket i wears it out so hold on damn just these acme studio jeans and then i wore my new Zara flats that I bought. They actually look really good with this. So this was my little outfit. It was my little outfit. So anyway, I have my makeup. I have to wash my face really, really good. Um, and then what was that noise? Um, and then I'm getting in the bed. I'm tired. My lipstick look good though. My lips look good. I sure don't want to wipe that off. But I'm about to. Anyway, I just wanted to open up the vlog. I wanted to open up the little vloggy and say hello. I don't have much going on tomorrow. I probably won't do anything. I'll probably sit down tomorrow. And then Saturday, we are back at it. I think I got three events lined up for Saturday. I maybe only make it to two, though, if I'm being quite honest. Because two of them are scheduled at the same time. And one I want to go to a little more than I want to go to the other. Um, so, at the very least, I'm going to do a couple events Saturday and then Sunday. I'm doing a workout with my girls and then we're gonna grab some food so fun weekend ahead and i will keep y'all updated whether it be by my phone it's gonna be by my phone y'all know i'm not carrying this damn camera with me so sunny outside i love it we're having like we're in that that time frame of the year where the weather is perfect in chicago this happens right between like spring and summer and then summer and fall in chicago where you just get perfect like 70 degree weather for like two if we're having a good year like three weeks straight where it's like 70 75 maybe 78 at the high so it's really warm it cool it gets cool but not super cold at night 
Anyway, it's Friday. I'm on lunch and I just threw on um, a t-shirt and some pants because as soon as work is over, it is Friday and me and my girl, this is our, this is our happy hour day. I told y'all that. As long as it's warm outside, we are taking advantage on Fridays. So as soon as I'm done with work, I'm walking out the door. So I wanted to just put my clothes on on lunch so I don't have to do any of that stuff afterwards. And I just have some flexi rides in my hair to try to give it some type of curl or something. I didn't put no heat or anything on it because I put a little heat on it yesterday when I went out for um, Chicago Ex Exhibition Week, which that starts back up tomorrow for me. So I didn't uh, schedule to do anything today. Um, but I do have, I think I mentioned that I do have a few events on tomorrow. So I'm picking that back up on tomorrow. But today is girls day and then Sunday, another girls day. I, um, y'all know I am bar queen now. I just love me some bar, but they're doing a free like bar workout in the park. It's like a Kinder fundraiser um so i invited uh, my homegirl julia is coming she's bringing one of her homegirls my homegirl kendra and then um jamila is somebody that i just met that's the person that i went on that first friend date with a couple weeks ago and then um i forget her real name i need to go on tiktok and, i mean look, go on instagram and get her real name before tomorrow but um it's somebody that follows me on tiktok and they are my age right i don't got nothing against the young girls but like I also want to be in community with people that are my age too so you know we're the same age she just moved to chicago with her husband as a matter of fact girl why was i on the marathon like rounding out the end of the marathon and there she was like Angela, on the side of the marathon so yes she's come i also invited her right because she's new to the city looking to make friends to hang out i get it especially at our age so i invited her she's coming we're all gonna go do the workout and then i need to find somewhere for us to have brunch maybe i'll bounce some ideas off my friend today because she's a lot better at like picking restaurants um than i am i tend to like like a place and just want to go to that place over and over again because baby honestly i could just go to world's mary but she gonna be like girl we didn't been to rose mary um anyway so yeah i don't even think i ever mentioned my nails i did get my nails done after work the other day um it's fall so i went back to my um almonds like almondy coffin shape the long square is just fun summertime nails i think i'm gonna go back during the summer but i went back to like a medium length um like coffin almond shape more more coffin than almond um they start off as like an almond but i have them to shave them pretty up, shave them a lot on the sides because as you notice i have big nail beds right and so if i don't get them to it's already it's still thick right but you can't shave it too much without it looking crazy um so i have to have them shave the almond into a more of a coffin because my nail beds are self so fat anyway i got a brown color and this is deeply rooted by aprius Aprius, whatever you call it but anyway i love it and i already know what color i'm getting next time it's an aprius color aprius i don't know how to pronounce that two it's one number this was 51 and there was 50 so that one leaned just a little more burgundy than this one so i think i'm gonna try that too see which one i like and then that'll be my fall winter color um anyway just chopping it up with you I'm not gonna put no makeup on today, but I did feel my brows in and put on some mascara. Um, and as far as my outfit, baby, super casual. Just this JW Anderson t shirt and then these EC. It's a Miyake. Please, please, stare up. Oh, I was supposed to change my contacts today. Oop. I did not see that notification. I'll do it tomorrow. Anyway, just these EC Miyake, please, please, pants. And I'm probably going to put on. Um, my what is up with the lighting i feel like the more sun it is the worse the lighting is for me that's weird it must be something with the settings on this camera my brows are too harsh i'm going to go feel calm those out a little bit more but anyway i'm probably just going to put on my um jill saunder like pointy flats uh, pretty much the same thing i wore when i wore these pants in paris except for i have on a full t-shirt and in paris i had on like a cropped like tee so anyway just checking in. I got about 10 minutes. There's just enough time to stuff something in my mouth. And then I need to get back to work. I am recording. Um, so y'all know I'm in training. Um, I do corporate training. Like training or whatever. Like facilitating trainings. Um, as part of my job. And so we have like these four what's called like ILT trainings. Or we have like six 
IELT trainings. Um, one I'm turning into an e-learning. Anyway, y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. But I have to do these like provisional recordings. So essentially, any class that I teach um, instructor led, meaning I am facilitating the training to a group of people, I need to record in video video form in the case that something ever happens. I get sick. I have to be out, and the trainings need to happen. Each of these trainings are scheduled for like an hour and a half, like when I am facilitating to an audience. In my mind, I'm like, oh, I can bank all five of these. Hold on, let me sit down now because my arm hurt. In my mind, I'm like, oh, cool. I can bank all of these recordings out um, Thursday and Friday. So I just slotted all of the recordings to be Thursday and Friday. I was like, mm, it take me an hour and a half. I have five I need to record. I could do both of those. I could do all five of those in two days. Y'all, It yesterday was Thursday. It took me the full eight i had a couple meetings yesterday so like that cut into the time um but neither one of them was more than 45 minutes it took me all day to record too i'm like how when i train these classes in an hour and a half all the time but i also am i was being very like particular making sure that i'm hitting a lot of high points like reiterating points because it's a recording so people can't stop me and ask questions so i think that's what it was but girl and I've only gotten through one today and it's lunch time. But this one is also, um, it got a lot of, like a lot of little like clicks. So I'm having to like move between, um, different like screens and stuff like that. Um, and I didn't write a script for these. Like I would normally write a script for e-learnings or like video, uh, learnings. Uh, so I'm just like facilitating it as I would facilitate if I had an audience. Long story short, it is taking me forever. It is taking me, I only got one done. I'm, I'm gonna be lucky to get it finished. I got half of one done. I'm gonna be lucky to get it finished for the rest of the day. I might be able to start on the fourth one, but I'm not gonna finish it by the end of the day because baby, I got a horror cut off time at five o'clock. I'm not, I'm not working extra. Uh, especially on a Friday. Now, if it was during the week, I might just sit until I got it done, but on a Friday, no. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna scarf some down real quick and I'm going to sit back down and try to get this done. And it's not like they perfect, girl. It's all type of, of, of mess ups in there. Like I'm literally talking to, cause we have one um, person on our team that does all of the like editing and like um, stuff for the e-learning. So I go in, I create the scripts, I record everything, all of that. And then she does all the editing. And I literally, <laughs> I'm talking to her in the video like oh I'm so sorry scratch that don't use that we're gonna start back over here start here like trying to give her like directives um like what to add what not to add shall anyway I I just I don't know why I told y'all that I'm waiting on my friend to come but I ordered some steak tartare she doesn't I don't think she eat red meat or is that her boyfriend that doesn't eat red meat anyway I ordered this before she came because I don't think she eats it and I want to try it so I got that and then I got a glass of Cabernet she doesn't eat oysters maybe I won't get oysters um, this time but I think we should try the baked brie I think we should try the sliders I don't know what that is but I'm intrigued but I'm interested to see what she says. I always let her take the lead because I'm not a picky eater. I'll eat anything, but you know, she has dietary restrictions. So we'll see. This is the beef tartare. It looks really good. Oh, I was like, I have a note on my screen. It says flash may help. Okay, update. Anyway, <laughs> is that potatoes or crackers? I think it's potatoes. Oh, I'm about to fuck that up. She got the brie. Oh, it steamed up my camera. I got some mussels. Oh, maybe it was the mussels. Yeah. Okay. I hope they don't taste muddy. We're in Kendra Scott. My friend is replacing a necklace that she lost and then end up buying like two more pieces. Y'all know I'm not a jewelry girl, but I'm not gonna lie. I've seen some cutie little pieces in here. I've seen some cutie little pieces. I'm not gonna buy nothing though. Y'all found dirty. That's so good. I think we did really good with our selection. I agree. I feel like this is a lot of food though. 
It's Saturday morning. It's literally 10 30. Oh, it's not 10 30. It's 10 26. I just rolled out of bed, baby. And the first thing I did was made a cup of coffee. Um, I have some little things that I used to do around the apartment. I have like some super ripe bananas. I literally purposefully bought a bunch of bananas so I can let some ripe so I can freeze them for smoothies because we we back in the gym and we gotta I you know I typically don't like work out with a goal in mind I always preach this like oh it's just a part of my routine da, 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 da. but I do have to um get focused for a few weeks because maybe it it take that's crazy the fact that I literally have had a consistent workout routine for over a decade and in two months like I feel like I'm starting from square one. I'm not, I'm still in really good shape, but it's not Angela shape. So I am going to be really focused for like the next month to just get me um, back to a good space. So anyway, I said all that to say, I need to freeze some bananas. I had to do a little load of laundry yesterday because my friend, wait, like she like, I don't know how it happened, but anyway, she did something and the, the Branzino, the juice on the Branzino splashed all over my shirt. So I had to come home put it in the washer but I didn't want to wash one shirt so I ended up doing a load and now it's just chilling and dryer so I need to do that I need to take my sheets off my bed because those need washing some dishes in the sink I need to rinse off and put in the dishwasher full a dishwasher full of dishes that I need to put up um that's pretty much it so not too much but um I'll look up and I'll be out of time I don't have anything to do this morning which has been weird like you know i um on saturday mornings i'm usually working out so it feels like i have so much time i don't have anywhere to go i was supposed to go to a collection like an art collection viewing this morning but i could not pull myself out of bed because you know y'all saw went happy hour dinner had a little too much to drink had a hard time getting up this morning um like i wasn't drunk but like i was feeling it so um i don't have to be anywhere until five o'clock so I'm gonna go to an art show at five. I can only stay there for like an hour. Um, I'm going with Black Girls in Art Spaces, a tour. I can only tour for about an hour, then I gotta sneak out because I'm going to a panel talk for early work at Chicago Exhibition Week. So like a bunch of gallery um, and people in the art community are having um, events in collaboration with um, Guardian Early Work. So that's the group that I do all of like the art, um, like events and stuff that I go to. So I'm going to a panel and then like a night bazaar. So I'm going to sit in the panel and then I'm spending the rest of my night hanging out at the bazaar today. Um, and so I feel like I got plenty of time, but I might look up and it's gonna be three o'clock and I'm gonna be like, okay, it's time to get dressed. So uh, I'm gonna sit here for a little bit. Ooh, my hair is so dry. That's okay, I got a hair appointment. Not next week, the week after next. Um, so I'm not gonna like, pressure myself but I am going to get up and get moving because I do want to come home to a put together apartment because I have an early workout in the morning tomorrow's my first workout but it's just like a group outside charity workout with my friends and then we're going to do brunch and then I'm going to the Alice which is the restaurant in so I'm supposed to I need to I need to um go ahead and clarify and make sure that's set in stone but I was invited to the Alice which is the restaurant in Soho House they're doing this new like Sunday roast menu and um, they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to like come. Well, not that. I met someone that works at Soho House the last time I was there. Um, he was so nice, he follows me on TikTok. Oh, he was so nice. But again, I don't like saying people's name on here. I don't know if they, you know, want to be on social media in that way, that is his job. But anyway, he hit me up and invited me. So I'm gonna go chit chat with him. And then also I have like this crazy, like I was telling my friend yesterday, like I am going to spend October, November, December trying to make enough money on social media so I can get a membership. Um, and it's between Soho House and um, this gym. I think it's gonna be this gym though. It's called Beyond here in Chicago. It's like a gym wellness, like very bougie gym wellness center situation i'll tell y'all more about beyond i'm a little later this camera is about to die i'm headed out can y'all see me y'all can see me i'm headed out i thought i'd show y'all my little ootd i got everything done i said i was gonna do except for my bed because i ended up getting back in it because i had plenty of time when i was done anyway i'm headed to some chicago exhibition 
uh, weekend event. So uh, I have on a bodysuit. It's MM6, Mesh um, Margiela. I have on an Anushka. Oh, I'm hot. Um, cardigan. These shorts are H&M. And then on my, oh, I have my Acne Masubi. I have the St. Laurent Sunnies on. I need another like brownish pair of Sunnies because the cat eyes don't always go with everything. Um, and then on my feet, I have on my Margiela Schnooks. Um, so that's my outfit. I do have on a little makeup, y'all, because um, I'm going to a few different events. So, you know, you never know who you see. So I have a little makeup on. I just have on Sunnies over the makeup. Anyway, I'll record with my phone. I ain't do nothing to my hair. Listen, I'm a week away from taking this hair out um, because my install, my new install is not this Wednesday, but the one following. So I ain't, I ain't worried about it. That's, that's somebody else's problem. Anyway, okay, I'm hot. I'm gonna get ready to call Uber and I'll record with my phone. headed out but I started off at Mana Contemporary it's like a collection of artist studios um, I love this little sign I already took a picture um, I went up to the ninth floor I did an artist visit I will insert that um, in here but now I'm on my way to the next place I'm just waiting on my uber but I'm not going outside because it's hot it is hot We are so back, bitches. <laughs> I didn't mean to call you a bitch. I'm sorry. Um, it is 7.06 a.m. I am getting ready to get ready for a workout. It's been a whole week since I've done anything active. It's been a few months since I've really, like, been able to be into, like, my routine and get, like, meaningful workouts in because I was trying to save this leg for that run, but that is over. And I am a little out of shape, if I'm being quite honest. And that's okay. Um, I did a hard thing. And. But now, it's time to, you know, get myself together. I am, I don't have any, like, really real reasons. Other than, like, I'm not comfortable in my body right now. And. I don't like the way that feels. So I'm gonna get myself back to a comfortable place. Banana. Um, ouch. That hurt. I don't care about being in shape for like no trip or no shit like that. I'm not that type of person. <coughs> That's why you say you, you build a routine. So you always in shape, except for now. I'm not that in shape, you know? hurt my nail but anyway um i do have dc not next week not the week coming up but the week after um and then i don't have no trips no more after that i was supposed to go to dallas for thanksgiving but i forfeit or forfeited forfeited thanksgiving um to my co-workers because at least one of us have to be from our um not necessarily a team. I'm the only person on my team technically, but um, you know, on 
our business apps teams that represent one side of it has to be in town and since i will be gone the day after christmas through new year's i was like you know what i can be in city in the city for thanksgiving it's no biggie so i won't be going to dallas for thanksgiving so i will be here i probably need to find somewhere where i can order some food that i can pick up um and just have but anyway i am going to art basel so i'm going to miami for art basel in december like the beginning of December. Um, so I may have on a bathing suit for that, depending on the weather. And then, but I'm gonna have on bathing suits that I already got. And then I'm not buying nothing. And then uh, Milan, which Milan. Girl, you're not going to Milan, Barcelona. I need to start planning that this week. Looking for hotels. Um, I know I'm going to Madrid. So looking up train tickets and I probably try to sneak one more place in. So I need to start getting it together this week. Get off. Mm. I think I'm gonna do oatmeal instead of flax seeds and chia seeds. I just don't want my stomach to be upset because I haven't had a smoothie with like, I don't know. This one thing about me, if I stop to take eat it consistently, Black seeds going to tear my stomach up. So I'm going to put a little bit of oats in here. A little oats. Just for some girth. You know? <laughs> we love girth. Oh, sorry God. Not on your day. <laughs> Remember the separate thing. Keep it holy. Anyway. um, Banana. Da, da, da. I need some ice. So anyway, yeah. Yeah. Um. We are so back, baby. I also have to get a flu shot tomorrow. I have to get a flu shot before, I think like the 15th. And I've been putting it off, putting it off as far as I could because I had stuff to do. And I didn't want to be sick. But I had to do, I had a marathon. Then I had a busy weekend next weekend. It's still going, like today is about to be boop, boop, boop. And I just didn't want to be like down from the flu shot. <clears throat> so, Tomorrow I'm head to the office on lunch, get the flu shot, and probably just work from the office for the rest of the day. Um, and then I'll probably be, cause I usually get the flu shot. Well, not usually. Ever since COVID's been a thing, I've been getting the flu shot and COVID shot at the same time. Um, look, it didn't give me a hard time this time, y'all. And uh, oh, let me put some of this creatine in here. That's what I need to put in here, and some of that collagen. Um, and that shit takes me down for at least two good days. And then uh, the third day, I just be a little weak, which sucks because I'm getting back in the gym this week. So that's about to be a struggle, but it's not going to stop it. But I have to get that flu shot because at my job, if you don't get your flu shot by the allotted date, baby, you go on administrative unpaid leave. And ain't nobody got time for that. So I got to get that done tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, but today I am about to go to a bar class, but not in the studio. I'm going to a bar class in the park. I told y'all it's like a, um, it's like a, um, charity thing. And I invited like four of my friends, five of my friends. So it's going to be six of us if everybody is able to still show up. And then I made an 1130 brunch reservation. And then I got invited to try the new menu new sunday roast menu at the alice which is a restaurant in soul house here in chicago um so me and my friend are going to go try out the sunday roast Ugh. i was hoping i had time to get home and change clothes but i fear i fear i'm gonna be at that sunday roast in the same clothes it depends on how long brunch go um if I can get out of brunch before two, get home, shower, and I can be back by uh, 3.45, which is when I uh, need to be there. But I also don't want to rush brunch with my girls because it's not often you can get six people, you know, with free time at our age our schedule so i was very strategic i got i scheduled the brunch 
in walking distance to the dinner so i could just boop boop if if we end up like shooting the shit for way longer than i expect um it wasn't my first choice though i waited too late i literally just made a reservation yesterday i wanted to go to restoration hardware uh favorite book then i looked at hide and seek favorite book so i ended up doing the oakville which you know quick easy like it's like my new beatrix um, I love Beatrix, but when all else fails, Beatrix don't always have a reservation. And it's, you know, you can always find something good, whatever. Oakville is kind of like that too, so. Gotta mix it up a little bit. It's a little chunky in there, I don't like that. Need some more milk. Um, so yeah, that's what we got going on today. I am going to drink this. wash my ass i'm going to walk because the park is like a mile away from me which i'm so excited to be on my walk again so i'm gonna walk so i'll probably leave here at like 8 45 because it's like a 30 minute walk give or take depending on how fast i'm moving so yeah i'm excited for today baby i've been outside oh i didn't show y'all i bought a painting okay period they probably like, bitch, it's 7 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. The fuck are you doing? Oh, man, I wasted some of my damn. That was for the homies. That was for the homies. Um, I need to show y'all what I bought yesterday. Hold on, before I let y'all go. Before I let you go, before I let you go. Oh God, there's a song for everything, babes. There's a song for everything. I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. Okay. I'll worry about that later. No, actually that's gonna drive me nuts. Let's just do it now. Let's just do it now, B. Have I ever told y'all that B is my nickname? But only for my friends at home. Y'all can't call me B. That is a very sentimental nickname. But yes, my nickname is B. So when Beyonce the B stands for bands, she mean my B too, bitches. Okay, girly pops, come with me. Look at my hair. <laughs> Come with me, girly pups. Oh, these flowers dying. I bought a new piece of art. So the panel I went to last night was also like an art bazaar. So it was different artists there selling their, I guess I could take it out of plastic. Selling their like prints and stuff like that. And I bought this. I'll put the girl's name on the screen. But I don't have a piece this big. And I also just really like it. I love the colors. I think it goes with all of my other art so well. Isn't it nice? It's massive. Um, it's going to be a bitch getting it framed. But I still need to get Shakiri And I need to get Serena framed. So I might as well add this to the bunch. I may save this to do over Thanksgiving break. Since I'm going to be in town by myself. If, yeah, because my homegirl Kendra going home. I don't know. I got to see if Julia going. Because if Julia not going home, then baby. I'm going to her house for Thanksgiving. Per the usual, y'all. I actually could go to Tangy House. I could take my talents to Tangy House. I got places to go. Thank God for friends. Now that I think about it. Uh, if I need to. Buy some supplies to take to Tangy House for her to cook. I'm thinking... When I get it framed, hold on, let me sit y'all right here. I'm just moving y'all over the place. When I get it framed, I'm going to move. Hold on, y'all can't see that. Up, up, and away. Can y'all see now? Oh, y'all can't see the whole thing, but let me, boop. Okay, that's a terrible angle. I think I'm gonna move this Beats of Butler print, and this is Obi Aguam by an artist named Obi Aguam. I think I'm gonna move them and just put this big print here. 
on the wall. I might have to rethink this. But I think I want to put the big print here on the wall because once I get Shakari and Serena framed, the frames are going to be bigger so it'll even out sort of this like gallery wall of the Given Flowers prints from Christina Martinez. So I think I'm going to put this here and then what I'm going to do is take, there's one by Christina and Al Basir and then these two and start creating a little gallery wall. This is like right over my bed here start creating a little gallery wall right there. I'll probably put some other stuff in there, uh, like family photos and stuff. I have some family photos that I wanna frame. And then, of course, Christina is still over here. I was th I've been thinking about putting a little shelf under this Christina Martinez uh, print over my bed, just because on camera it looks really small, but it's it, it it's a lot bigger in, in person, but I kind of want to add some texture to it. So maybe put like a shelf and then some candles or something that won't ever get lit, like over my bed. Girl, I don't need to be doing too much because y'all know I'm getting up out of Nash Chicago, Nashville, Chicago next year. But, you know, that's a whole year away. I still want to do a little something, something. And a lot of this stuff I'm not taking with me to D.C. Like my desk, I'm probably going to sell. TV stand, I'm definitely getting rid of. Pretty much taking everything else though. But the desk and TV stand are probably gonna go. Okay, y'all, I gotta go. Anyway. <laughs> okay, a part of the um, appeal for the South is that. Is it called flower madness? Veggies? It's like a full, like something out of 10. <laughs> hey guys hi guys hi hi how are you it's still sunday i've been out all day i've been out all day i'm exhausted i thought i'd come on and show y'all my ootd um and then i'll give y'all a recap of the day tomorrow because i'm tired i just want to take this off wash my face clean off get in my bed I'm tired, but I thought I'd show you my outfit because I thought it was cute. I literally have on the same outfit I had on yesterday, just remixed. T-shirt, helmet lane. Have on this Zara laser. Um, and then I have on those same H&M shorts. I switched it up a little bit on the feet. So yesterday I literally had on a different, this isn't a blazer, it's like a cardigan. So I had on a different cardigan yesterday. And I had on like a bodysuit and then I had these shorts on and I had sneakers. I had my Margiela sneakers on. And then today I did the Zara t-shirt cropped shorts acne boots as you can see the box here. So I thought that was really cute. And I carried my Masubi. I carry my acne Masubi today too. Um, anyway, I just got home. I'm about to like clean. I need to get into bed. I'm tired. It's seven o'clock still pretty early that gives me time to like just snooze the rest of the day away i'll come tomorrow and give y'all like a update on today i mean there will be clips because i was like recording a little bit while i was out but um i'll give you a wrap up too so yeah i'll tell y'all in the morning i'm full i am so full like you know when babies are like really full and their stomach is tight 
That's how I feel. That's how I feel. My lips are ashy too. Okay, booze. <laughs> Y'all see how slow I sat down? I'm a little sore from yesterday's workout. Um, the first workout back, well, second now, because I did go down and work out this morning. Got up at four o'clock. We back on our routine. Was down by five. Worked out until about 6 10 6 15 i typically work out an hour uh, hour and like maybe like 70 minutes um 75 minutes it just depends but um anyway i um what am i trying to say i am doo -doo -doo, having a smoothie <laughs> having a smoothie I'm trying to get some protein in early um Typically I would like have oatmeal, but I'm just, I'm over oatmeal right now. So smoothie it is. Uh, I need to order groceries because I think I'm gonna do some bone broth for the next few weeks, like lunch. I'm, you know, I don't wanna show that part of diet because it's, it's, it, uh, I'm being a little extreme. Um, I wouldn't say unhealthy, but um, Smoothie for breakfast, bone broth for lunch. I am trying to drop some of this midsection weight quickly. So I won't be really, I mean, I'll show you the bone broth I buy, but I won't really be talking too much about that. Cause I don't, I don't want you to feel like it's a diet that you have to follow to lose weight. I just, I know how to like, I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> I'll just put it like that. So anyway, um, I, it is six. 50 now so I really need to not be doing this because I need to edit a vlog I need to edit a couple vlogs which I can do in about 30 minutes uh, and then I need to hop in the shower and get ready to log into work but um, I need to edit all of this stuff that I did over the weekend I'm actually tired as hell because I was out and about since Thursday um, but it was like the most perfect weekend like it was like the most perfect Angela weekend especially the time that I got to spend with my friends yesterday so I had my friend Kendra who was one of my friends here in Chicago I met here in Chicago it's my girl um and then my friend Julia who has been my friend since 14 so we are <laughs> locked in ain't switching up we from home together we went to high school together it's one of my closest longest bestest friends um, anyway, I brought them together with two new friends. Um, one was the girl that I had the friend date with um, a couple weeks ago. And then one was another that I also met on, she follows me on TikTok. Um, but I was telling them yesterday, I was like, I don't necessarily mind meeting friends. I will say, right, and this is a little, this may be a little biased. But like to hang on a like a personal level like that, I do prefer that people are my age range. So they're both 40, they're both older than me, right? So we're all in our 40s, right? I think my friend Kendra is 37, she'll be 38 or 38, she'll be 39. She's 37 or 38, I can't remember, but she's a, a couple years younger than I am, but still within that age range. Um, that's not to say that I wouldn't befriend younger people because um, I'm going to Paige's party again next week and Paige is 25. Paige will be, I think Paige will be 26 this month. I, it's an event that she's throwing that's open to the public, but I went to her birthday party last year when she turned 25. So it's not like I wouldn't be friends with people that are younger than me, but you know, like bringing them into my circle, introducing them to my other friends and possibly them forming friendship or working with like, cause my friend is a realtor, you know, you know, per, uh, possibly forming, um, professional relationships, possibly forming friendships outside of me. Baby, y'all can exclude me. Y'all don't need me. Exchange numbers, hang out. That's what it's all about, right? Um, and so um, I do sort of tend to stick to people that's, you know, same age range, 35 to, you know, older or whatever. Uh, but I be with the young girlies too. I be with the young girlies too. Don't get it twisted. Anyway, I did get a notification that I had a package um i got some i think this is some skincare by a brand called ever i don't remember did i tell these people they can send me something because i don't remember i don't remember this otherwise they how did they get my address i had to have they had to have reached out to me and i had to have said yes because you know i'm not with any like like how else would they have gotten my address like you know just don't remember i'd be really picky about this kind of stuff like i get emails all the time people want to send me skin
skincare and da 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 da. And I'll be like, no, girl, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, love. But um, sometimes if the stuff looks good enough, I'm like, yeah, you can send it to me. So I must have liked what I saw. Because. Oh, shit. What is. Okay. Okay. So I got some overnight facial uh it's like a cellular renewal oil actually yeah i need some more overnight skin products for like my nighttime routine oh a vitamin c i do like a vitamin c i do like a, vi a brightening vitamin c serum so this is the vitamin c booster serum oh and the ice and the eye cream so okay actually these are three products that i can really i can get with so the uh night oil the serum vitamin c serum and then the eye cream so i'll keep y'all actually let's open it and see what it look like i ain't never actually seen their packaging we'll just open one of them and then i gotta go i gotta use my time in the morning wisely this is when i do all my content oh this is beautiful packaging period period okay yeah they might go on the um in the little tray on the sink i need to switch some stuff out okay Gotta go because I got to get this stuff edited. Hello, people. Hello, hello. Oh, this is hurting my arm. Ooh. Okay, so it's still Monday. As you can see, I'm wrapped up like a burrito. I got my flu shot on my lunch. It's weird because everybody's like, I don't, I don't get sick off the flu shot. I don't know what it is about me and the flu vaccine that gets me sick. I did not get the COVID vaccine at the same time this time because it just be having me down too long. I be down for at least four days when I get both at the same time. So I just got the flu shot this time. Like I said, I have to have it for work. But I don't feel good. And it always happens to me. Like always. And the people on TikTok was like, I don't, you know, my arm be hurting, but I don't get sick. Well, I don't know what it is about my body and the vaccine. It just don't. It don't miss. Anyway, I got groceries. None of this is anything new to y'all. And I didn't really need to like get a lot of, look, my little TTs, hold on. I didn't really need to get a lot of stuff because I don't know if I just, I know I didn't. I didn't eat in this house from Thursday through, um, oh, that's my sentiment. From Thursday through s Sunday? So that's why I got so much food left over from last week. But um, yeah. Anyway, I love these little um, saute things. This one, my favorite one right now. So I always make like chicken thighs, grilled some chicken thighs, and toss that over in there. Y'all know I'm trying to eat like a little boy for the next couple weeks. Some spinach for my eggs in the morning. I got those apples because, baby, the, if you want to snack, snack on a goddamn apple. No peanut butter, just apple. Just slice it up and, and snack on it and be happy. Um, and then in this bag, this last bag, I need to get a lamp over here so I can stop sitting on the back of the couch. Feel me? I got some bananas. Y'all know I like to eat those before the gym. Got some more peanut butter because I run through peanut butter like a crazy person. And then I got bone broth. Actually, is this two servings? Oh no, one container. So I got some bone broth for the rest of the week for lunch. <laughs> Don't be like me. Be better than me. I'm trying this kettle and fire one. I saw in a, um, I was watching a random YouTube vlog today. Um, and a girl was, um, drinking this bread. She said she really liked it. They only had reduced sodium. So I had to go with the reduced sodium one because they were out of the other one. But whatever. Um, I'm going to add some coarse sea salt to it. But she was using Celtic salt. Celtic salt. So I'm about to go on Amazon and order some Celtic salt. I don't know what it's going to do, but girl, desperate times. Because this. All right, girl. It's got, it gotta go somewhere. It ain't gotta go home. It gotta get the hell up off of me. So anyway, this is the bone broth, and like I said, I got low sodium because that's all they had. Like you know how like they like send you a message for a modification. I'm like, girl, bring me what you got. Oh, I got one more bag. This is just my egg for sure. Yeah. 
not why is my milk on top of my eggs i need for them to be fucking good. Oh, they fine. <laughs> they okay. But still, that was done. Like, be for real. Please be for real. Oh, and my chicken. I did order some more chicken thighs, too. So that's what I got. It don't seem like a lot, but I swear to God, it'd be enough food for the week. It just be looking real skeet, but, you know. I make it do what it do. Anyway, that's crazy. A pack of chicken thighs. A couple pieces of salmon, some bread, five bananas, five apples. Did I say some spinach? Peanut butter, eggs, two of these little pre meal things, and four things of bone broth was $100. What was $100 after tax and delivery fee? And then it was like $1010. Oh, after tip so um the extra it's an extra twenty dollars on there for convenience for delivery and tip but um so eighty dollars that still feel like a lot it, like i feel like if i went to like kroger or something back in nashville because the all the grocery stores here are, are expensive like in my opinion mariano's expensive um Pete's can be I mean I mean unless you like a salesperson and you like look for, but like Chicago got like a lot of high quality like grocery stores they all had to me except for um what's the main one but I don't go to that one because I don't like it I can't think of the name of it right now but y'all know if you in Chicago you know what I'm talking about anyway I'm rambling because I'm tired this thing got me feeling loopy I literally already ate dinner and everything um it's after 6 p.m. So I've been off work for over an hour. Um, and I just made some fried rice with a little egg and some chicken and I ate that. So I'm already going to bed. I'm about to put this up. I'm going to sleep. And I think, I'm, not think, I know. I'm about to wrap this ball right on up. This is the last clip. I'll get it added. It'll be up tomorrow. And then, you know, we'll start another one. I really don't got nothing going on this week. Um, I am going to a party later on in the week so that'll be something but other than that that's it so with that girls y'all know the drill thank y'all so much for watching i appreciate y'all again thank y'all for all the congratulations on the marathon i appreciate it we back in the regular swing of things um thank y'all so much for watching if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed across platforms now girl um and i will see y'all in the next one. Bye.